the sanctified life? God's witness, not silenced. Here we see how hard the heart may become when obstinately set against the purposes of God. The foes of the church were determined to maintain their pride and power before the people. By the emperor's decree, John was banished to the Isle of Patmos, condemned, as he tells us, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Revelation chapter 1 verse 9 But the enemies of Christ utterly failed in their purpose to silence his faithful witness. From this place of exile comes the apostle's voice, reaching even to the end of time, proclaiming the most thrilling truth ever presented to mortals. Patmos, a barren rocky island in the Aegean Sea, had been chosen by the Roman government as a place of banishment for criminals. But to the servant of God, this gloomy abode proved to be the gate of heaven. He was shut away from the busy scenes of life and from active labor as an evangelist, but he was not excluded from the presence of God. In his desolate home, he could commune with the King of Kings and study more closely the manifestations of divine power in the book of nature and the pages of inspiration. He delighted to meditate upon the great work of creation and to adore the power of the divine architect. In former years, his eyes had been greeted with the sight of wood-covered hills, green valleys, and fruitful plains, and in all the beauties of nature he had delighted to trace the wisdom and skill of the Creator. He was now surrounded with scenes that, to many, would appear gloomy and uninteresting. But to John it was otherwise. He could read the most important lesson in the wild, desolate rocks, the mysteries of the great deep, and the glories of the firmament. To him all bore the impress of God's power and declared his glory. The Sanctified Life, Chapter 9, John in Exile